Hello there, Jose Rodriguez here again. In this video, I'm going to take you through the steps that I use to remove the factory fill ball on the Canon cartridges. This is a CLA 8 yellow cart. A friend of mine sent me a bunch of these that he no longer needs, and basically what he did, rather than uh, remove the ball, he actually just drilled a hole, which I really don't recommend that you do. It's best to remove the ball. So we'll go ahead and since this was so kind to leave me the ball still installed, I'm going to take you to the steps that I use to remove that. I know I demonstrated that a little earlier, but I'll just go ahead and do it for you right now. As you can see, I'm just simply tracing around that opening with a razor blade. You can use an exacto knife, a scalpel, whatever you happen to have on hand. And we just pop it right off and there you go. Okay, now here is the ball. You can see it located right there. There is a cylindrical opening. It's like a little jar living inside the card. It's actually molded as part of the uh, system. And basically what we need to do is pull that ball out. Now, a lot of people suggest that you take a hot needle and melt a hole in there to create a sort of a like a pilot hole, but it's really not necessary. I've even used a drywall screw to do so, but I'm going to go ahead and utilize this little thing that a lot of the refilling companies send you when you get one of these refill kits for this type of cartridge. And simply, you don't really have to even start a pilot hole. This ball just rotates freely in there, so what you want to do is enter it kind of at an angle so that you can actually lever off the screw press hard and turn. As you can see it's already attached. Continue turning, continue screwing it in. Until you eventually have several threads. And there it is. Okay, so that was quite simple. Now, we'll go ahead and put this aside. So now we have the factory hole completely free of that little sealing ball. And by the way, the ball only partially seals. What actually completes the actual sealing is the label that goes over that hole. All right, so now what we need to do is we need to open up that little seat that's at the bottom of that opening. The little seat is what kept this ball from falling into the liquid chamber. Otherwise the ball would not do its job and it would simply just fall right through. So what I've done is I have my 532nd drill bit and I have it attached to a little mandrel and it could be attached. You can get a piece of dowel and drill a hole in it with the same drill bit crazy glue it in place and you have something to at least get some leverage with. Otherwise you're going to need some kind of power tool. And I don't recommend anything that's handheld because you could then create an inaccurate hole which will not seal when you try to insert the plug. Inserting the plug now would work except that that little seat just keeps it from going in. And basically you're relying on on just passive contact and that's not going to work. As you can see it just comes right off. Now I normally, like I said, I use the drill press that affords me total accuracy for my hole. I even clamp this on a little vise and hold it perfectly perpendicular. That way the hole is drilled perpendicular to the original opening. But it doesn't really have to be that exact, it's just that I like exactness. So I'm going to go ahead and insert my drill with this little mandrel and I'm going to just twist and just let the drill bit do its job. Remember twist drills push themselves into the hole due to the spiral on their, their little cutting edges. And there we go. We are in and now I'm just going to continue rotating and just basically pull it out. And if you're worried about any little plastic chars or anything falling inside, remember, drills pull what they produce during drilling out. 
and there it is right here it's actually right there okay so that's it we can now go ahead and plug it in and be assured that this is not going to seal now there are real Canon plugs that are a little bit better than these but these are the uh, slightly lower profile ones and it depends on the type of printer for the Pro 900 Mark II which is what this is for this is fine but I'm going to go ahead and show you the ones that are normally used and they look like this I'm sure you've seen these they are usually supplied with every refill type kit for Canon we'll go ahead and remove this now unfortunately this card is ruined because it's already been drilled out but I mean you could supposedly attach two plugs so this is a very snug fitting plug it's very soft so it will conform itself to any irregularities that hole may contain around the inside diameter of it and you notice how well that fits it goes all the way down creates a, a, a perfect seal so that you don't have any leaking out of this sponge side if this hole was not sealed properly then any ink that I fill the liquid reservoir with will immediately just leak out so in order to use this I would have to literally just plug both holes back up and there you go and that is it now I would just go ahead and reset it and then proceed to fill it and for filling I would suggest that you use a bottle with a little syringe tip a little needle type tip they're, the, they're usually called squeezy bottles and have your inks uh, stored there for your refilling purposes you just line up your cards and start you know get your colors lined up along each card and fill the liquid reservoir just use your finger and cover the vent fill it up to the top and then close the fill hole remove your finger from the vent and just let it let it fill that sponge make sure you have a clip attached to the exit port but just let it fill the sponge it's going to take us several minutes to fill that sponge especially a virgin a virgin car such as this has been flushed and dried and ready for ink if it's already been used and you caught it when the liquid reservoir hit low meaning that it reached the bottom of that little prism located there then you simply cover the vent fill plug remove your finger from the vent let it sort of balance itself out the liquid level will drop somewhat and at that point you can just simply unplug and top it back up plug it in put some tape across here if you want to just store it until you need it and that is it that's all it takes I know some people that I have actually corresponded with um, elderly gentlemen that have problems with their hands and this is a little bit difficult for them to do but once you get this done if you could get someone with better use of their hands to perform this act for you first or you can buy pre-flushed and already modified cards from precision colors and you can basically just transfer the chips from your original say for instance CLI 42 cards for the Pro 100 over to these equivalent cards and then you just all you have to do is remove the plug add ink plug it back up reinstall it to the printer you're ready to go all right so that's it hope you like this video please share please subscribe and until the next time happy printing bye bye